Welcome to a discussion of connections made by a commenter on a previous video discussing Merica's mythological connections to Norse mythology, particularly her connection to the Allfather Odin of Asgard. I read a lot of amazing comments with some thought-provoking insights, and I wanted to highlight some of them in a series of videos, and I hope to connect as many of these concepts over time as I am able. Without further ado, I would like to highlight a comment made by this commenter, Alexander. I will be putting up images of the original comments in the video, however, I have reworked the original comments into a script for your enjoyment. Let's begin with Odin, often called the father of war or inciter of conflict. Odin's name, Ofnir, suggests this. Some theories speculate that Odin and Loki, blood brothers by oath, might have conspired behind the scenes to orchestrate Baldur's sacrifice. This event in the game mirrors the saga's sacrifices to Odin, like that of King Vikar, who was impaled with a spear disguised as a reed by Odin himself. The parallel to Baldur's death and Godwin and Elden Ring is striking. Now, here's a mind-blowing idea. Merica speaking to Radagon before the Shattering, saying, Let us both be shattered, mine other self. Could be a twist on Odin's self-sacrifice. Odin, according to mythology, hung on the windswept tree to gain the runes, saying, Myself to myself. This connection is strengthened when you consider the spear-like object piercing Merica as she hangs crucified on the rune arc. Fenrir, often known as Fenrisulfur, is a significant figure. The concept of the Red Wolf of Radagon might play off this idea, intertwining with Radagon's connection to America, whether they are two beings or one. Odin's many names include Lord of Frenzy, which might be reflected in America's mythological influences, making her more of a character influenced by multiple sources rather than a single entity. In moments of intense stress, it appears that a new being can split from a god or demigod, as seen with Millicent and her sisters in Melania. Melina might serve as the Vidar figure toward America's Odin figure, akin to a god of vengeance. Vidar is known for slaying Fenrir at Ragnarok after Fenrir consumes Odin. Radagon is a complex character embodying both the skills of a warrior and a craftsman. His rune involves stitching, and he appears to be multi-talented. While he may share similarities with Godfrey, he might be more inspired by Lug, the Gaelic cognate of the Gaulish god Lugus. This connection to Odin's early proto-Germanic cognate Wadnaz adds another layer of intrigue. Radagon's time in Rhea Lucaria reveals further interesting details. Some of the sorcerers there wear masks with overlapping faces, mirroring Lugus, who is often represented with three faces in archaeological finds. Could it be a coincidence, or does it hint at From Software's attention to detail? In the grand scheme, if Merica and Radagon are indeed one and the same in an abstract sense, perhaps they represent their own expressions of the multi-talented druidic cedar practitioner from their mythical influences. Elden Ring's intricate world-building and storytelling certainly offer plenty of room for exploration and interpretation. Though, that wraps up the ideas proposed by Alexander, and I want to just thank him so much for allowing me to discuss his ideas and connections in this video. I really appreciated being able to connect with those enjoying my videos and ideas. I'm also sure I did not pronounce most of those things right when discussing Norse names and whatnot. However, to discuss the connections proposed here, I really like the mention that Loki and Odin are blood brothers in mythology, and that it's even theorized that Odin assisted in the plot to kill Baldr. And this could certainly connect well with what I have theorized in the past, that Rani could perhaps serve as a metaphor for Loki, as she is the one who actually carries out the actions of the Knight of the Black Knives, and that perhaps Merica was involved in some way. Even if it was simply playing a passive role, that being standing by and allowing for Godwin to be assassinated under her watch. Odin's name in mythology also implies he is the one who incites war or conflict, which may again link well to Merica, as she is seen to be a warlike queen, having led a crusade against the adherents of the Crucible in an effort to solidify the Elden Ring and greater will as the supreme forces in the lands between. Again, I can also agree with Alexander's assertion that Merica's positioning when we find her in the Erd Tree is quite reminiscent of Odin sacrificing himself in mythology, as he too was pierced by a spear, while hanging in a similar position in order to gain power and knowledge from the universe. I also agree that it's likely Merica and those around her are likely inspired by multiple mythological sources and not just a single one. I just have been interested in highlighting the Norse connections myself. The possible connection to Lugus is interesting, and that's something I will have to delve deeper into to discern if it's simply a coincidence or if there could be some connection there, as the overlapping face masks certainly raise questions about those in Rhea Lucaria. I also think there could be an aspect of America and Radagon representing Odin's druidic ability to change shapes, and this could be representative of multiple influences, and perhaps even multiple influences within Norse mythology. As Radagon is in some way connected to Rani, and if Radagon does in some way represent Fenrir the Wolf, the son of Loki, Perhaps it strengthens the connections, and Rani or Radagon in some way represent connections to Loki, especially when considering Loki's primary ability was also shapeshifting, much like Merica, Radagon, and Odin. But that's all I got for now. Do what you will with this info dump, and have a great rest of your day. Peace out.